Hi, I'm Sana. Hi, I'm Amia. Hi, I'm Ciara. Hi, I'm Sydney. Today we will be reading When Really Worried by Kevin Hankies. Poor Phyllis, who never worries. When really worried about everything. Big things. Little things and things in between. When really worried in the morning. She worried at night, and she worried throughout the day. You worry too much, said her mother. When you worry, I worry, said her father. Worry, 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 said her grandmother. Too much worry. How do you know she's worried in this case? Sierra? Her face expressions? Yeah. yeah and see how um, her family is comforting her? At home, Wimberly worried about the tree in the front yard and the crack in the living room wall and the noise the radiators made. Do you think she's paying attention to the book she's reading in this picture? Sydney? No, because um, like she's, she's worrying about the crack in the wall. Yeah, yeah. you can see her eye looking at the wall. At the playground, Wimberly worried about the chains on the swings, the bolts on the swing slide, and the bars on the jungle gym. And always, she worried about her doll pedal. Um, why do you? How do you think she feels about pedals in this picture? See how? I think she cares for pedal, and she's worried for pedal. Yeah. She carries her around with her everywhere. Yeah, if you look, it's um, it's always with her. And she's saying, I'll wait for you until you come out of the giant. Don't worry, said her mother. Don't worry, said her father. But Wemberly worried. She worried and worried and worried. When Wemberly was ex especially worried, she rubbed Petal's ears. Wemberly worried that if she didn't stop wearing, Petal would have no ears left at all. Why do you think she always carries Petal around? Sydney? To comfort her and try to make herself worry. Yeah, because it says over here she always rubs her ears. Yeah, and ears. I'm really worried that if she didn't stop worrying, Petal would have no ears at all. On her birthday, I'm really worried that no one would come to her party. See, said her mother, there's nothing to worry about. But then Wimberly worried that there wouldn't be enough cakes. Everyone's having fun. Um, so what, it, what do you think her mom is trying to tell her? Is trying to do? Yeah. I think her mom is trying to get her mind off of worrying. Yeah, yeah. and to cheer her up that there wasn't nothing and to worry about. And she's showing her that that she's going to have fun. On Halloween, Wemberly worried that there would be too many butterflies in the neighborhood parade. See, said her father, there was nothing to worry about. But then Wemberly worried because she was the only one. What do you notice between these two pages? This one See, and this what one. what is everyone doing? And what is Wemberly doing? Her parents are trying to talk about her better and Wimberly is still worried. Yes, yeah, she's, she's always left you out. realize that she's always left out. Well, everyone's having so much fun. <laughs> you worry too much, said her mother. When you worry, I worry, said her father. Worry, 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 said her grandmother. Too much worry. Soon Wimberly had a new worry. School. Wimberly worried about the start of school more than anything she had ever worried about before. How do you think her father feels when when Wimberly is worried? Yeah. I think her father feels like feel bad for her because he doesn't want her to worry so much. Yeah, yeah. and he's, he said, when you worry, I worry. By the time the first day arrived, Wimberly had a long list of worries. What if no one else has spots? What if no one else wears stripes? What if no one else brings a doll? What if the teacher is mean? What if the room smells bad? What if they make fun of my name? What if I can't find the bathroom? What if I hate the snack? What if I have to cry? Why do you think she is so worried? Like, look at the question. What does it tell you? 
the newbie. She's never been to school, so she doesn't know what it's like in school, and she's never been at any. Yeah, so yeah. she's like over worried. And she, um, she, uh, most of the questions are if, what if no one else? Because she doesn't want to be left out, like yeah. on her birthday. Don't worry, said her father. Don't worry, said her father, said her mother. But when really worried, she worried and worried and worried. She worried all the way there. Why do you think she's so worried? Yeah. I think she's worried about school and like how it will be like and yeah. what everyone Yeah, and she's scared doesn't... to go there. She doesn't want to be left out. While Wemberly's parents talked to the teacher, Miss Pe Mrs. Peachum, Wemberly looked around the room. Then Mrs. Peachum said, Wemberly, there's someone I think you should meet. Her name was Jewel. She was standing by herself. She was wearing stripes. She was holding a doll. Do you think they'll be friends? Well, let's make a prediction. Sydney? Yes. Yes, because they're wearing the same thing and yeah. they both have a doll. And, and you can see Jewel is standing alone. Also. And the teacher wants them to be friends, so maybe they will. At first, Wemberly and Jewel just peeked at each other. This is Petal, said Wemberly. This is Niblet, said Jewel. Petal waved. Niblet waved back. Hi, said Petal. Hi, said Niblet. I rub her ears, said Wemberly. I rub her nose, said Jewel. Why, um, why do you think Niblet is in the picture? To show that um, Wemberly is not the only one with the doll. Yeah, and she was worrying that no one else would bring the doll. Yeah. Throughout the morning, Wemberly and Jewel sat side by side and played together whenever they could. Petal and Niblet sat side by side, to, side by, sat side by side too. Wemberly worried, but no more, but no more than usual, and sometimes even less. Before Wemberly knew it, it was time to go home. Do you think she wants to go home, Sydney? No, because she was having so much fun and yeah, she, she made a new friend. friend. And time was over be yeah, before, before she knew you. Come back tomorrow, called Mrs. Peachum as the students walked out the door. Wemberly turned and smiled and waved. I will, she said. Don't worry. So, um, do you think Wemberly changed throughout the story? Yeah. Yes. She yeah. turned out from like worried and scared. Yeah, before she was so worried about every single thing. And then she turned from making a new friend and not being worried so much. Yeah, and yeah. now she did, she wants to come to school. Mm -hmm. We, we hope, hope you enjoyed the story. story.